Now let's start with uh, a little bit of a discussion about why you wanted to install a solar powered livestock watering system. I understand you've got three of them now. Yes, I, we have three and, and uh, I like them. Uh, I think they're way more uh, reliable than the old windmills. We used to have some windmills on the place and we've traded the windmills out for a solar operation and, and there's a lot less maintenance and, and uh, I just, I think they're, in a lot of ways, I believe they're more reliable and, uh, and I, and for my, in my case, they pumped, they pumped more water than the windmills that I had did, so. Okay, now, talking uh, dollars and cents here, especially in a drought year, how do you feel that uh, these solar-powered livestock watering systems uh, impact production? Uh, well, I think they're expensive to put in, uh, but the nice thing is once they're put in, you've got roughly uh, 15 to 20 years of hardly any maintenance at all, other than the the you know the standard maintenance of just keeping it in good shape and whatnot but but so if you divide the cost of them into like 20 years it really figures out to be a very cheap system okay now how about uh, how it impacts uh, weight gain on the ranch and how it impacts you know the actual the livestock your cattle we uh, especially in a drought year like this we really like them and because uh, you know the less the cattle have to walk to water the the more weight they put on and if uh, uh, a, a well goes down for whatever reason, generally you have another well in, in the vicinity where uh, the cattle can still have some water so you know you don't have to stop everything and go move your cattle right away. I know that you're actively involved in the uh, local conservation district, you're on the board and you're a good steward of your range here so uh, how about some of the conservation benefits that you see with having uh, more of these systems scattered across a Wyoming range? Well, I think it's great. I think uh, not only does it keep your cattle dispersed better so you don't uh, graze one spot on your on the pasture that they happen to be in closer than the others. Not only that, but it, it's a benefit for the wildlife because uh, if the cows don't have to walk as far to water, neither, neither does the wildlife. And also, we have a, a, bir a bird escape ramp where if a bird does fall into it, they can go over to the ramp and, and get out. So Jim, have there been any uh, surprises since you've had these systems for, you, you have three of them and you've had one for uh, a while now, although this is a newer system, uh, any surprises you've had with these? No, we haven't. They're basically maintenance free. The, the one uh, that we've had for quite a few years got a direct hit from lightning and took the pump out. So, so the panels kept working even after that lightning strike? So it was yeah. well grounded then? Yeah, the, the panels never harmed the panels, never harmed the control box or anything. It just took the pump out, but other than that, that's the only thing it did. If you had any problem with hail, because certainly know that we can get some hail here in Laramie, and you certainly get a hail, good hail storm throughout Wyoming. No, we haven't, you know, uh, and it's, we've went through some pretty good hail storms here, um, and we haven't had any trouble with the panels at all from damage from the hail or whatnot. Uh, I thank you for your time that you spent here with the University of Wyoming Extension to describe your system, so I really appreciate it. You bet.